Hi there, welcome back. In this lecture, we will try how best we could you know, implement this auto manage for Arc servers and Windows Server 2022 so that we don't want to take any kind of our headache. Instead, we give that headache to Microsoft so that Microsoft is gonna manage our servers with their best practices and of course we could you know review we could do the uh, you know configuration uh, changes but let's have a look on how to manage these or how to enable even auto manage for arc servers so if you remember uh, uh, in the previous demos i did created a normal virtual machine also i did created my on premises windows server to be onboarded to windows server arc so let's go to the arc servers and you could see here this is the arc server and you have an option to auto manage so what auto manage does is here uh, you have some of the capabilities uh, the first one is the as your best practices for your production let's say this server this specific server is uh, a production server i would like to apply all the best practices uh, that microsoft recommends uh, that's what we do it right you know if the product is uh, coming from a xyz vendor and they come up with some kind of you know best practices on top of it our best practices will be applied so the same thing here so we wanted you know manage auto manage all of these things so when i say all of these what are those let's say it could be a policy so it could be windows update or inventory or or xyz things let's see what are those xyz things so if you just click on view the best practices or the uh, things so you would be you know, able to see all of these things let's say if it is a linux one which is not supported because uh, this is a windows device right and you see here uh, machines inside monitoring meaning any kind of you know processors running or you know the dependencies and the resources if it is taking anything extra so you would be able to see and the backups so you should be able to see and uh, not supported for arc servers but if it is a windows server you should be able to use the uh, windows server from azure portal then you should be able to use the auto manage and uh, this is the server uh, from on premises we enabled as you arc right and different of a cloud and uh, these are the additional things that are available for example patch management so the entire patch management goes to microsoft and microsoft manage for you automatically and you don't have to worry about it and same thing goes for the changes tracking all of that inventory information and also the mission configurations can be fine and in the back end uh, it's going to create an azure account and that's going to connect it and everything gets you know logged into the log analytics server the actions all of that including the boot diagnostics will be you know enabled so this is where you have the policies so you could you know enable by taking the as your best practices from here or uh, maybe for development or you know test servers you should be able to you know configure this or there's something you know called in a custom profile you should be able to do it so the custom profile you know talks about these things whether you know you want to you know customize anything you should be able to do it so let me enable the as your best practices in a production uh, this is how you would you know enable on this one server let's say if i want to you know configure on my azure server all i have to do is again auto manage uh, should be uh, simply configure uh, automatically that way from here uh, i should be able to you know configure this server also so it's just checking for the eligibility thing so i could say you know hey let's enable all the best practices so it's gonna uh, configure for this machine also it might take you know some time to show the actual status but uh, this does that job so entire configuration can be you know, fully automated like a patching and the backups disaster recovery all those things will be automatically taken care by microsoft with their best practices that comes from their industry experience i hope this uh, short lecture is useful for you for auto managing this is a quite new feature uh, which you could you know use from azure portal as well as from windows Server 2022 i'll catch you in the next lecture